Hey there, Geeks. Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Take a take a look at Microsoft removing the Classic Control Panel. If you're watching this video, you may have already heard that Microsoft has announced some time ago that they're going to remove the Classic Control Panel. Now rolling into December of 2020, we have a pretty good idea what they're doing with it. So what we thought was going to happen is we thought the Control Panel was going to be gone. And as you know, a lot of us like the Control Panel, and we like to get at some settings that are harder to find in Windows 10 settings. That said, there's a lot of stuff in here you don't use anymore. We don't know what's going to happen, but here's what we think is going to happen. It would appear that Microsoft is moving some of this control panel into settings. Let me show you. Go ahead and click on your start button if you want to follow along and click on your settings. Click on system and then scroll down to the left and click on about. Once you're here, scroll down and you'll notice at the time of this video this page has a few new settings and there it is in black and white some settings from the control panel have been moved here let's take a look at a couple of them let's look at all of them It'll only take a second as you can see that's the classic control panel device manager you'll recognize that right away remote desktop that remains in settings system protection which brings up the system properties, which has a lot of uh, access to hardware, device manager, some of the other stuff you're seeing, system protection, system restore, so on and so forth. Advanced system settings, once again, it just brings up the advanced tab of system properties. So pretty good access to your control panel still. Rename this PC, once again, system properties. So it looks like whatever they want to keep, they're going to use a lot of the system properties, which gives you hardware, computer name, which you just saw, advanced system protection, remote, which we all already discussed. And graphic settings, which as you can see, kind of wipes it out and brings you over to the Windows 10 settings, which really isn't a lot there. So there you have it. That's pretty much everything that we know as of right now. You can click on any of them. And again, as always, don't forget, you can click on the Windows key plus S and start typing a control panel. If we see anything else moving forward, we'll do a new video on it. I, I'm only guessing. I don't think it's going to change a lot from here. I think anything that they find that is useful is going to just get simply moved into settings, even though it opens the control panel. So we're not really, which is why I said sort of, we're not really removing the control panel as they said they were. They're just removing the majority of what we know is the control panel. You with me? Because I'm losing myself. Anywho, don't forget down here at the bottom, you find our similar stories, how to reset settings, create a shortcut to any Windows 10 control panel setting, add settings to the context menu, open how to open a control panel instead of settings, which is kind of handy. As you can see, it has its own video tutorial as well. And there you have it. Bottom right corner, you can click on the Major Geeks logo and click on subscribe. Click like if we helped you out, leave a comment, whatever you want to do. Thanks for watching as always. See ya.